Salut la famille! Adding contrast or Lightroom or Capture One is as easy as moving a slider up and down. But when it comes to Photoshop, things are a little bit more complicated. On this new video, I will show you four techniques to add contrast in Photoshop and I will show you the drawbacks and the benefits of each technique. So let's go! We are here on Photoshop and for today's tutorial we will take this picture as example and the first technique I will show you is the easiest one and is to use the tool that Photoshop provides you to add contrast. So if we go to the single adjustment we will see that we have here the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. If we click on that we will have a new adjustment layer that has two main sliders which is brightness and contrast which is the topic of our video. So if we use the slider for contrast, we will, you will see that it adds contrast and it re reduces it when you are moving the slider. The issue with this technique and the reason why so many photographers are not using it as their main way to add contrast is because this tool impacts the color in a very bad way and even the contrast is not added in a very optimal way. So as you can see here, if we add the contrast, you notice that it impacts a lot the color, the color are turning into orange, even the contrast is not very refined. So it's not the best tool for the contrast. But if you want to do just a simple or quick raise to the contrast, you can use this tool and it will not be taking you a lot of time. For this second technique, I will show you a way that is not very straightforward to add contrast to your picture, but it's one that many photographers rely on to add contrast to their pictures, which is to use camera raw to add the contrast. So let's assume here that we have many adjustments that we are doing to this picture. We will not touch any of that. So one of the ways is to select all the layers, click with the right button, and you can click on merge layers or merge visible. So we'll click on merge layers and as you can see all the layers will merge into one picture. Then all what we have to do is to go to filter here and we will click on camera row filter as you can see here. So let's click on that. When you click on it you have the camera row which is basically Lightroom in, a fo in under Photoshop. So it's the same as, as, as Lightroom the same adjustment, everything is the same, it's just the layout that is different. So here you can add the contrast and as you can see it has a little bit more punch than the, the, basic, the basic contrast way. And it gives you a little bit more control. So here you can do it, you can even use the masks. So you can use it as you are using Lightroom in your normal way. So you can see here, you can add in, in. So this is quite simple and basic. I don't think that there is a need to explain more that. The only thing I will say is that if you've been watching my videos before, you know that I am a big fan of the smart objects. So instead of merging the layers, as I showed you the first time, the best way to do it is to select all the layers, click with the right button and convert to a smart object probably already watched that if you watch other of my videos and we'll go to filter and we'll do the same thing camera raw filter and we'll do the adjustment to the contrast that we want we can do anything we want but here we are talking only about adjustments so uh, about contrast so let's do the contrast and let's click on ok the, the difference between flattering and flat flattering the image or, or merge visible and this one with the smart filter is that now you can come back at any time and adjust the camera roll adjustment that you did. And the other way that I showed you before, there is no way to adjust what you already did. Here you can come back and, and adjust it at any time. And at the same time, okay, let's cancel off. Okay, let's put, okay, that's not to cancel. And at the same time, you still have all those layers that you created before. You can extract them at any time and do adjustment to them 
and save for example if we save that if we close this and save it it will go back here and you will see that it, it will adjust also that so this is the best the second way to add contrast to your pictures it's not the best if you ask me but it's one of the ways the third technique to add contrast to your pictures is actually a very easy one which is to use the curve layers to add contrast this technique is quite easy and probably you already know it or heard of it and i will show you how to do it so we will go to our simple adjustment and we will click on the curve layer so the curve layer if you don't know it so this part is the is the blacks of the picture and this area here is the brightest part of the pictures or the whites so the more you are going here the bright so you can see here it's black and it's going gray and then it's white so here is the darkest part of the picture and this is the bright part of the picture so if you put if we put for example here one dot here and one dot here and we take this one up and we take this one down what you can see is that the dark parts got darker and the white ones got brighter and actually that's all what the contrast is the contrast is actually separating or having a big contrast between the dark parts and the bright parts of the picture that's what makes contrast the more you bring things together the, the the dark parts and the bright parts then you don't have contrast anymore so the contrast is actually darkening the darks and brightening the bright so the simple way to do it is to create an s curve on your curve layer so s curve is you take one point in the darks and you darken it a little bit to to the taste and you take a bright part of the curve and you take it up and here you can see you have some contrast to the picture you can adjust it or you can even do one other way which is to take this one the hand tool so this one you click on it and you go to a dark part that you want to darken it for example here we have those areas here that are dark so let's see we don't want to take black but we'll take something that is a little bit gray and we'll click on it and we'll drag a little bit down then we can go to somewhere that is bright on the picture for example the hands we can click there and we can take it up until we like it and here we can see we created a little bit of contrast to that we can add it we can adjust it that's the the magic of the curve layer is that everything is adjustable and this is a very simple way to add contrast to your picture for this fourth technique, I will show you a way that is my personal favorite to add contrast to a picture. It's not a very straightforward way, however, it's the one, in my personal opinion, that gives the best results and also gives you the most control to adjust the contrast. So we will go here to our single adjustments and we will create a black and white adjustment layer. So let's click on this black and white adjustment layer. And which will open those adjustments here so those adjustments control the intensity of each color so for example the reds we can make them darker or brighter so let's so let's we need to create a black and white that we like so here let's see so i like the reds like that there is a lot of yellows in this picture so i think let's put them here the greens we don't have a lot in the picture so i'll leave them alone the blues the same we don't have a lot on this picture so let's leave them here cyan's okay the blues eh, not many little bit but so let's brighten them and the magenta also i don't think that we have a lot so let's leave somewhere so this is a black and white that i like so what we have to do now is to change the blending mode from normal to soft light you can also use the overlay but in my opinion soft light is the best one because it's not too harsh so if you click on soft light now you can see that a lot of contrast was added to this picture however it's a little bit too much what we have to do here is to take the opacity to zero and then from here we can add little by little until 
we find the level of contrast that we like. So I will add it a little bit more so you can see it. So let's do, for example, 20%. So now let's do a before and after to see. So as you can see, it added a lot of contrast to the picture without impacting the colors in a very bad way, how it was in the first technique or even some of the other techniques that I showed. So you can see here, it's very subtle, it's very nice, and it doesn't disturb the original image. So you can see the before and after, you can add to, 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 to your taste. So depends on what you want to do but as you can see you can put it up you can put it down and you have also the the masking so you can you can reduce it you can remove it from certain areas the, the other way and one of the reasons why I like this technique more than the others is that within those sliders you can now adjust the contrast or the intensity or the darkness of each color separately so let's say that we like this contrast here but we think that the reds are a little bit too bright so we can go here and we can either darken the the yellows or brighten them we can do that for the reds and it gives us a lot of control on the way how we are adding contrast so for me this technique is the best way to add contrast to your pictures, but it's up to you to choose the one that is more convenient to you and the one that you are more comfortable using. So that's all for this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, let me know. If you think there is other techniques or something that I missed, please let me know. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.